So now in this video we're going to take a look at a circuit I came up with where we take a, a 5 volt 1 watt LED module right here. So you just apply 5 volts across it and it lights up. But we have other circuitry here to make it so that it lights up when it gets dark enough as you can see there. So it's uh, basically a night light. So now zooming in on the schematic plus you can see the LED module a little bit uh, better there. There's the resistor that limits the current. You can put 5 volts directly across it. So we just have this uh, transistor there basically wired as a switch, but it does not have enough gain. We have a weak signal there, and when you get higher currents, um, we're looking at potentially maybe 250 milliamps of a current. At higher currents, the gain goes down. That's another problem. So we are uh, basically wiring up a Darlington pair right there. Uh, usually their collectors are tied together, but I need uh, more current. So we're going with the resistor directly to the 5 volt power supply. So that's off until we get a high enough signal right there. So we have these light dependent resistors. Right now lights falling on them, unless I cover my hand over them. Um, lights falling on them, they pull the voltage down. If we just had one of them, it won't pull the voltage down enough because uh, we're only using 4.7K right there. So I have a second one. As long as the same amount of light is falling on them, they'll have half the resistance that one of them would have that pulls it down. I could just use a 10K resistor to make the voltage divider work, but then it's not giving enough uh, current to uh, saturate, unfortunately. So we have the two there to uh, make up that difference. Hopefully that makes sense. So in any case, once we get a, a small signal flowing through, remember we're gonna lose about 1.4 volts approximately. 0.7 from that base two emitter and then a 0.7 from that emitter adding up to 1.7 But in any case once we get a small amount of uh, current flowing through we will get the collector two emitter uh, Conducting hopefully as good as it can and uh, 330 ohm resistor there. We're gonna get a little less than 15 milliamps of current probably flowing through But in any case we get many times that amount of current now going from collector to emitter there and ultimately it should be the load that limits the current, not the transistor, to make it to ground. So now we'll uh, quickly take a look at how much current we're getting. So I'm blocking the LED from getting to the light dependent resistors and I'm putting my finger over it. So you see uh, 0 0.232. Remember though that includes the current also flowing through that uh, resistor. I'm gonna turn the backlight on there and uh, there you can see we got about the same amount of current there with the lamp off. I'll cover with my fingers there. And it uh, went up. No, it looks like it held about the same right there. So we uh, now will turn the light back on. I'm going to turn the power supply off right now. And uh, just come up here. And uh, it might be easier to see if I turn that back light off. Um, so when I turn the power on, we just short circuited the LED module there and there you can see that with the short circuit there we're getting about 0 0.224 milliamps 224 milliamps I should say 0.224 amps approximately and there it went up a little bit I'm making better connection there so you can see that's one problem with the breadboard we're not getting as good of connections as if we had soldered connections or crimped connections or something that's something to be aware of uh, with this demonstration circuit. We can zoom in to uh, finish this off so you can see how I wired this on the board. So that's the 2N, 22, 22. If it starts with 2N and it's a bipolar junction transistor, these are NPN bipolar junction transistors, they tend to have, when you have the flat side there, emitter, uh, base, collector right there. That tends to be the way it is for the 2N transistors. Hopefully you can see this. This is coming up, uh, this resistor down to the base middle pin, that resistor to the collector. And uh, we have the light dependent resistors parallel. You can see how three of those resistors come to the middle pin, the base right there. So in any case, that's it for this video. Hope you enjoyed. Make sure you check out one of the other videos I'm posting on the screen and check out the links down below. They all help out a lot. I'll see you in the next video.